Hey guys, welcome back to the Adams Winnie Ridge Farmer YouTuber channel. It's July 25th and I thought I'd do a little update on the garden. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So as you can see, these pumpkins are coming on pretty well. They've got a lot of blooms on them. We've got a few small pumpkins started, but they've come on good. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of do opposite. We did come around the Karen clockwise, now we'll go we come around clockwise last time now we're going counterclockwise the potatoes are still doing good the pumpkins have kind of overtaken them a little bit uh the second the little patch of corn is doing great it's probably about three feet tall i would say from the ground up now it's coming in good pretty sure the pup's fighting uh, like i said it's coming in even got a nice nice crop uh, same thing with this second little patch of beans that we grew. It's coming in nice. It's budding out. And in some spots, it's got little beans on it already. As you can see. So it'll be a few days and we'll be picking beans off of it. Which is a good thing because our first crop of beans have pretty much died. Um, corn's coming in great. This is the first patch. It's real nice and thick tall it's still pretty green it's tasseled out pretty well here is the first crop of beans as you can see they're mostly gone we picked them today and only got uh got six pounds off of them this morning and we waited four days to pick them uh tomatoes are still doing good got a little critter eating on this little end one but that's to be expected it probably wouldn't hurt me to prune these at all either we've got the four red tomatoes which is kind of odd for this time of year we should have a lot more than that by now but, but they're coming on we can't complain uh, the bell peppers they were doing good this plant is loaded down we had a little windstorm the other day and it kind of knocked it down it knocked actually some of the tomatoes down but we were able to stake them back up you can see there's a few there's four little red tomatoes there cucumbers are still doing great um, can't complain about them we're getting a decent harvest of cucumbers there's some big tomatoes there. There's some even bigger ones there. They said they're loaded. It's just waiting for them to turn right. Uh, we've got some cantaloupe. It's doing well. We've got, uh, there's a cucumber as you can see. We've got a few watermelon coming on. There's a little small one there. Here's a little bit bigger one. Uh, more tomatoes. They're doing great. Had a few that had blossom in route or in rot, but next year we'll put some epping salt on to take care of that. Like I said, the pumpkins are doing great. I think these are Big Macs. I'm pretty sure is what we plant. Not for sure on that. But let's look at these tomatoes. They are going to be absolutely wonderful. I mean, look at that tomato. I mean, it. You can't ask for a better tomato. And they're probably four, four and a half feet tall. Like I said, the corn is doing great also. What are you doing, Jake? We put them in there, and they're starting to breed. Like I said, the pumpkins are doing phenomenal. They're kind of taking over everything now. Um, beans, like I said earlier, they've pretty much feathered out. This corn is coming on great. As you see, some of the tassels are starting to die out it's an okay ear corn it needs to needs to grow a little bit more before we can pick it here's these beans and i also forgot to mention earlier which is my fault I actually didn't really let their water overflow got a calf with pink eye we actually got two of them we're treating them for pink eye so we got them in this little lot away from everybody else but right here on the end i don't know if i said this last garden update we had onions all through here. Well, we just picked them onions and we buy, or froze five gallon size bags of green onions and three gallon size bags of the white part of the onion. So I can't complain about that. Well, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a good night.